plan on reading of ugh. let me know down below Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a stack of 10 books that I was so kindly sent by publishers. So I thought I'd share them with you so that we can read them together because they have already been released in May and the beginning of June or they're soon to be released in June and July. So like I said, I just thought I'd share them with you so that they can be on your radar as well. So without further ado, let us get started. The first one that I have was actually released April 27th and I was supposed to receive it a while ago but it actually just showed up in the mail a couple of days ago so I'm going to include it in this video just so you guys can read this one as well. But it is An Earl, The Girl, and A Toddler by Vanessa Riley. This is the second book in the Rogues and Remarkable Woman series. I believe that this is a companion series so you don't actually have to have read the first book in order to read this one but I'm not 100% sure on that so don't take my word as gospel but this one follows Lord Ashbrook who is in the first book as a barrister. That's why I'm thinking that you don't actually have have to have read the first one to be able to read this one but it follows him and he wants nothing more than to protect his stepdaughter Hope from his family's very scandalous reputation. It also follows a woman named Gemina who has amnesia. She was separated from anybody who may have known her and was imprisoned in Belham. She was only freed because she was able to convince Lord Ashbrook to betray the only thing he holds very close to him which is the law. So so when she is released, she enlists the help of the Woman's Grace, which is a secret sisterhood of people who fight for women's rights. So as she grows closer to Daniel, he is trying to keep her away from the secrets that he is hiding. He becomes very tempted to break the law that he had held so dear to himself for so long for their one chance of being happy and it's like the story of that. So I think it sounds like a lot of fun. It's already in stores so you guys can check it out if you're interested. The but next actually, book is another one already released May 4th. It is The Savage Instinct. This is by M.M. DeLuca and this one is probably one of the ones I'm most excited about because it is, sounds like it is so up my alley. It takes place in 1873 after a woman named Clara has been released from an insane asylum that her husband sent her to and when she is released she is struggling for her freedom because he has having a very watchful eye on her. She finds an unlikely confidant in Mary Ann Cotton who is England's first serial killer. She was accused of poisoning her husband and children as well as 20 other victims. So as she's fighting for her freedom she's also becoming more intrigued by this serial killer and it's like the story of that. I think it sounds so stinking good. I am a huge fan of serial killers which I know sounds so weird but I'm hoping that Clara becomes a serial killer with the Cotton's help and she kills her husband because we do not like controlling men in this house. But I am so intrigued by this one. I cannot wait to read it. I am so, so excited. The next book I have is another May 4th release. It is Just Last Night by Mari McFarlane. This follows a group of four people who have been best friends since their teen years. They are now 30 and Eve has been secretly in love with Ed for as long as she can remember. She thinks that Ed feels the same way but then something happens in their life that changes it very drastically and then she starts looking at her friends in very different light and thinks that maybe she didn't know them as well as she thought she did. And then someone from her past re-enters her life and it kind of flips everything upside down and it's like the story of that. It says that it explores lifelong friendships, long buried secrets, and unexpected love in a heartful, emotional new novel. I've read one other Ari McFarland book, which was If I Never Met You, and it was definitely a lot deeper than I had anticipated going into it, but I ended up really enjoying it so I'm hoping that this is similar. The and next book I have is another one that has already been released on May 11th. It is Where the Rhythm Takes You by Sarah Das. It follows a woman named Raina whose mother passed away two years ago. Everyone in her life seems to be moving forward. Her childhood best friend, first love, everything has left Tobago to pursue his music career. Her father also ends up leaving Tobago and leaves her trying to run the family seaside resort and that's when Aiden shows up as a VIP guest at at the resort. This is a retelling of Jane Austen's Persuasion with inspiration from the author's home, which is Trinidad and Tobago. It says that it's the perfect 
perfect summer read, so I'm very excited to dive into it sometime soon. The next one is another already released one. I'm a little behind, as you can tell, but this was released May 18th. It is a Last Chance book, so this is by Kelsey Rodkey. This is said to be a You've Got Male Meets Morgan Matson book. It follows a girl named Madeline who is set on taking over her family's independent bookstore once she graduates from college. The only problem is that a chain bookstore called Prologue has just moved in across the street, and a very cute boy is an employee there who is set on shutting them down. It's an enemies to lovers book, which I am a huge fan of that trope, so I'm very intrigued on this, and I also just love anything set in a bookstore, so two bookstores? I'm here for it. The next book I have was released May 25th, but it is Cheat Day. This is by Liv Stratham. This follows Kit and David, who were college sweethearts. They're now married and in their 30s. David is very successful in the job he works. He is always jetting off to exotic destinations for his job, which leaves Kit feeling a little bit stuck in her life. She is constantly quitting her job at her sister's bakery to try to pursue more exciting careers, but she's always scared of failure, so she always ends up back at the bakery. Kit is always seeming to be searching for control over her life, so she is always on some kind of diet. David tries to be supportive of this, so he goes through these diets as well. Kit is hungry in more ways than one, and she begins flirting with a carpenter named Matt, which turns into an illicit affair and it's basically the story of her trying to hide this from her husband. It says that it is a sharply comic novel that explores monogamy versus monotony, deprivation versus indulgence, and the limitations of modern wellness. It says that it's a smart and funny debut novel about the unexpected consequences of one woman's attempts to exert control over her life by adhering to a strict health regimen. So I'm intrigued. I think the cake looks really good on the cover. I have never been on a diet because I would suck at it. So it's gonna be interesting to see what I think of this one. The next book was released June 1st, and I just want to say that this is the most gorgeous book naked I have ever seen, but it is The Nature of Witches. This is by Rachel Griffin, and can we just take a look at this naked cover? Oh my goodness, I am so in love with it. And also, I really love the actual cover as well, so, you know, there's that too. So this follows a witch named Clara who has the ability to control the seasons. Usually, these witches are only able to control the season in which their birth takes place, but Clara is able to control all seasons. At first, Clara wants nothing to do with her powers, but she soon realizes that she's gonna have to do what she is told, so she begins training with a witch named Sang, who she ultimately falls for, and she's very worried that she might lose him. So Clara ends up having to choose between her power or not losing the one that she loves, and it's like the story of that, but I think it sounds really interesting. I'm definitely intrigued with it. The the next book I have is being released June 15th. It's probably one of the ones I'm most excited about in this haul, but it is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. This book follows a family whose first daughter is the heir to the throne. A second daughter hasn't been born in centuries, but then Red is born. Her sole purpose is to be sacrificed to the wolf in the Wilderwood with the hopes that he will return the captured gods. Red has this power that she is unable to control, so she has no problem being sacrificed. She wants to protect the ones that she loves and not hurt them again, but all the legends that she heard about the wolf being a monster is a lie. He ends up being a man and her powers end up not being the curse that she once thought they were and actually a calling, and it's like the story of that. I just think that it sounds really, really good and I am so intrigued with this one. I cannot wait to pick it up. I just think it's going to be like like one of my favorite books of this year. The next book I have is being released July 6th and it is The Stranger in the Mirror by Liv Constantine and this follows a woman named Addison who is about to be married. She is not exactly excited, not because her fiance is not wonderful, but because Addison doesn't really know who she is. A few years ago she was found at the side of the road bleeding and she has no idea how she got there. All of her physical wounds healed no problem, but her memory is a little fuzzy and she's convinced that she did something very, very bad that night. 
And then it also follows a man named Jared whose wife went missing two years ago without a trace. He doesn't think that she would ever leave him or his seven-year-old daughter Valentina on her own free will, but he's not exactly sure of this. These two lives end up interweaving some way and it's like the story of that. I think I have it figured out about what is the big twist, but I'm not gonna say. But I'm definitely intrigued to see if I'm right, so. I'm gonna be reading this one soon because we love a psychological thriller in this house. The next and final book that I have is being released July 20th and it is The Other Passenger by Louise Candelish. This one I think is very similar to the writing style of You by Caroline Kepneys. It follows you who has been traveling by ferry with your charismatic neighbor named Kit for some time now. And one day he does not show up for the ferry ride and his wife has reported him missing. When you get off the ferry at your stop, the police are waiting for you. They say that there are witnesses that can confirm that you and Kit were arguing on the boat ride home the previous night and that you have reason for wanting him dead. You deny these accusations, you have no idea uh, what this other passenger is talking about. You and Kit are best friends, but then you start to second guess yourself and it's like the story of that. So like I said, I think it's very similar to the way you by Caroline Kepneys is told, so I'm definitely intrigued. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to read from that perspective again because I loved Caroline Kepneys' book because I thought it was just so cool. So I'm definitely excited for this one. It's also blurbed by two of my favorite thriller authors who say that it's like really good. So I'm intrigued, I'm excited, and I'm going to be reading this very soon. Alright everybody, so those were some recent books that I was sent by publishers. Thank you so much to those publishers for sending them my way. I am so thankful and so grateful for these and I'm so excited to read them. Let me know down below if you plan on reading any of these, if you have read any already, and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!